So the unanswered questions are not the the role. Uh, apart from the fact that we will love in the future to see overall survival data and we'll all wait for uh, overall survival data, mature data. But the most important questions today uh, is to understand what strategy to use. Because what I'd like to answer to your question is a daily question we have while practicing, right? Uh, so basically you have this Checkmate 816, which is short. They give three cycle of chemo uh, and they give nivolumab. Short, they operate surgery and it's over. And you have these two adjuvant trials where you give do surgery, chemo, and you give one year of IO. Of course, you cannot compare. You don't look at the same patient population. They are all completely different. But what should you do in the clinic? Go for neoadjuvant, IO short, go for the normal process, and then the adjuvant. And do you have the freedom to do that? Some countries are dominated by surgeon. So anyway, the surgeon will come first. So you don't just have the follow-up options. So the main scientific question we have is, is there any reason to think that neoadjuvant is better than adjuvant, or that any strategy would be more feasible? So we really need to wait a bit more time and probably because lots of trials will read in the next two years probably five of them with all of these designs right so, uh, the most i would say interesting design in terms of how much benefit it will bring is the old design meaning neoadjuvant plus adjuvant and most of the trial which we read now do that they give neoadjuvant chemo io plus one year of adjuvant io but it's a lot of course, it's a lot of, I would say, demand on put on the shoulder of patients. So is it useful? So that's the main question. Neoadjuvant, adjuvant, or perioperative. And we need, we need somehow to compare trials and try to understand uh, what to choose. Today, it's um, led to the investigator.